McCartney and I attended St. Bridget's Catholic College at Lake Lamora. So my artwork is called Women's Business. It's about my Aboriginal heritage through the woman's perspective. So through my grandmother, my mother and myself, um, all the stuff about the stolen generation and just where it made our life significant. So my grandmother started off in Barbara in Sydney, mum was five doc at Darlinghurst and I was at Wonderland, which is where it impacted our lives most. So I guess it is quite large scale, um, about arm's length, if you hold your arms out, um, of three portraits, one being a self-portrait, using mixed media techniques of so charcoal, pastels, watercolour, acrylic, on canvas. Um, can you? Uh, it includes contemporary and Aboriginal. I try to keep it quite natural um, and have a linking colour between the three of us. So that colour is that rich golden colour in the background that you see with the Aboriginal dotting technique of the meeting circles. Um, so I try to make that flow through our artworks to show that there is a connection while keeping the backgrounds um, a subtle natural colours um, reflecting the lands that we came from. Yeah, so that was charcoal and pastels um, inspired by the Nanaki. So the backgrounds was inspired by an artist, Aboriginal artist called Judy Watson. A lot of her artworks reflect maps using watercolours and that's where I was studying her artworks and thought this could be a, be a big part of my artwork expressing where we came from, um, the three different places that um, inspired me and where I came from, from starting to, to now. Um, but with Judy Watson, I was able to really use her watercolour techniques but then add in a bit of a contemporary Aboriginal mix to it with dotting the maps. So would you say that this artwork is um, a celebration of your cultural heritage? There's two sides to it, yeah. but then there is a deeper meaning underneath it all. Um, stolen generation and mm -hmm. just some of the things that first happened during the first fleet, a few of the local moments. Yeah. Um, so there is there's a bright side and there's also a deeper side to the artwork. The idea wasn't really reflected in this, but the kind of concept behind it was like Tony Albert and a few other Aboriginal artists that had some con confliction between a bit of an Australian Aboriginal heritage and, and what happened. Um, and finding out about it, it's a bit confronting. So a lot of us have, yes, put that into our artworks to try and, you know, display and, and tell people what, what happened through, through art. 